Natalia Antuk, who previously was uh, already banned for doping and had her results scrubbed, found out this morning AIU released a statement that her results are now DQ'd from July 15th, 2012 until June 29th, 2013. And what you're thinking, all right, this is this is old news. Like, what's the big deal? This person's already um, been popped, had results scrubbed. But what it means is we could have possibility of medals being reallocated from the Summer Olympics. Antuk was a gold medalist in London that summer. Lashinda Demas, silver medalist. So theoretically, she would get upgraded and Fourth place finisher, Khalees Spencer of Jamaica could get a medal. And Khalees Spencer was someone who was just like around for a very long time, always in the mix, but never had that big medal moment. So interesting repercussions here um, if these medals do get reallocated from Antuk. The reasoning behind it, they said um, there was new LIMS evidence, L-I-M-S, which is like the online system that tracks... It's laboratory information system. So presuming they found some more information that indicated that she should have had her results DQ'd for those years as well. So unfortunate for those athletes that they had to wait this long. I'm sure they probably suspected something like this could happen because when your results from year before, year after DQ'd, oh, hey, you, you just started like cheating that one year. Most people are going to say, all right, it was probably a, a longer pattern but i get it you can't dq somebody toss them from competitions if you don't have evidence that they um, were guilty in that specific time period but now apparently they do and they're going to move forward with it yeah it's a, they sh we showed on the screen uh demas is uh quote that she's gonna not stop until she gets the gold medal and uh obviously the 400 hurdles is, has evolved dramatically since that 2012 yeah. olympic uh final uh, but it is, you know, it's bittersweet. It's good, right, that she's going to get the gold, but sucks that she doesn't get to get it in that moment, you know. Yeah. It, that's happened now many years. I remember seeing they were doing, like, award ceremonies during a few years ago. During Doha. During they Doha, did, um, yeah. For Savanova. Yeah. So Alicia Montano was there. Yeah. Brenda Martinez was there. Like, they literally redid, like, some of the podiums and – and had those athletes come back, travel to Doha specifically to get the medals. And I think bittersweet would be the yeah. appropriate way to put it because I think people are like, all right, well, it's good they got it right. But there was also a lot of anger that it took that long. And then that moment was taken from them because you look at Demis's career. And yeah, it's like no guarantees, right? She gets the gold in Daegu in 2011. Then 2013, she gets bronze at the World Championship. 2015, um, that year, she doesn't make the team. And then 2016, she's you know she's had so many injuries. She runs one race, and that's it. Is there a fine involved when you have to give up your medal? I know World Marathon majors were thinking about or are doing something like that. I don't think individually there is. I think it's more just you violated the the rules of the game. Got to. Do you have back. to mail them the medal back? Got to give it back. Yeah. What happens if you don't? I don't know. Do they? Like I mean, send? you're. you're, you're I mean, I guess you could just hide forever. Yeah. I, I don't know exactly the, the work. I mean, they could just give her another gold medal, I think. I think that's what they do. <laughs> don't, just don't worry about it. But I, I do think it's supposed to be uh, – when they say reallocated, to me, it means they're supposed to take the medal from them. But I don't know if they're going to really <laughs> spend a lot of time and energy and money doing that. But. If they do not get the medal back and they have to remake it, right, do you think it's hard to make an old 2012 medal? No, I'm sure someone has a print somewhere, right? Save it to your desktop. Do you think they backed probably, it up like, on an external hard drive? Do you drive? think they have like every metal oh, yeah. form factor, like backup plans? Like how many backup medals do they have for like the 2013 well, maybe Moscow a, World Champion? Maybe not a backup, but maybe they like borrow one and then someone – you can make a molding off of that one, right? I don't know. I'm out of my depth here. Colt, you know more about this stuff. So what is Colt? Colt used to be a roofer. Uh, Yeah. I definitely know how they make medals. Uh, I think they probably just save it to their desktop and then they can pull the file up. But what if like the computer printers now? But man. what if like the computer like file is like gone? Like you know, uh, people. Are, do you remember the things you saved to your desktop in 2012? Yeah. No, no. But I just know that people can, you know, reverse engineer. Yeah, they can do fantastic things. Right. Technology, man. Especially uh, people know how like 
engineering and stuff works. It's just, it's incredible stuff. But Fair anyway, enough. yeah. Uh, so happy they're going to get it right, but it's been, it's been, uh, obviously a long, long, long time. And I, I want to read more about the story. I want to know exactly what happened, like what the new evidence was. Cause that's interesting to me too, that, that they got more evidence.